G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder, and welcome to the F-105D. This plane has been slept on a little bit by the War Thunder community, and is honestly the hidden gem of the new patch. The F-105D is one of the most insane aircraft of this particular patch, and honestly it sits at the level of insane that the Su-17 did when it first entered the game, and that's saying something. The Su-17 had some really, really good missiles, it had some really, really good flight performance, and of course it got an air spawn, which made it uh, particularly batshit crazy. Now, the air spawn is one of the things that makes this plane batshit crazy, but I think it's more the speed. Have a look already, we get a Mach 1.05 air spawn, and that is just absolutely incredible. We are running, I think, 20-something minutes of fuel, and we just have enough speed and enough power here to burn and just run away from your opponents. In fact, you can almost run away from anything you want, even certain missiles at uh, certain speeds and certain uh, distances. You're gonna have a fairly easy time. Have a look at that. Already doing 1.13 and the match has barely gotten started. So this thing's performance is nothing short of batshit insane. Top it off with a decent weapons platform and the fact that it doesn't compress as hard, uh, it's pretty damn incredible. It's kind of like in a way similar to a Hunter, but with a lot more speed and pretty much better everything. So the F-105 is actually a fighter bomber, it has an insane bomb load, but if you're doing that, you're playing this plane wrong. This is an absolute monster for rushing, and this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing a little side rush. The idea is to climb or to uh, rush around the side and then come out behind your opponents when they're not suspecting anything. And you have to be careful with this, like you do have a radar, you can spot opponents, but a lot of the time your opponents aren't going to be climbing. They're going to be sitting at roughly sea level, especially considering what types of enemies you're going to be facing. Um, I have killed J-29s in this thing. So yeah, J-29, subsonic, two missiles, 20 mil cannons, AIM-9Bs uh, versus this thing with four AIM-9Es, supersonic, afterburning, radar, RWR, you name it. This thing is a little bit too cuckoo for its battle rating. So. As a bomber, you would expect this plane, like I said, to be used primarily for bombing, and some people do that, and I think it's wrong. I think it's uh, not morally wrong, but I think you're using the plane to its uh, lowest potential. This thing obviously has good capability as a bomber, but why the hell would you want to use that when you could go after fighters and uh, it would be just as successful? So here, I'm looking out for a little friend here. We've got the F4C who's uh, attracted three MiG-21s, which is horrifying to see, and I'm looking at one or two that might be of an interesting, uh, have an interesting time with. This MiG-21 comes out right behind me, and uh, or right in front of me, and uh, does a boo-boo, and this one here I am looking to uh, send another missile to. Are we going to land that second one? No, it's an SPSK, and so I'm just going to burke him with the 20mm. I've, I've got a Vulcan, so uh, sucked in. We have lots and lots of potential here for kills. Speaking of potential for kills, MiG-21 here, not looking. F4F in front of me, not looking as well. And uh, something has just popped up to the left of me there. And above, it's a Harrier, it's a GR3. And uh, you know what? You can actually, in my experience, deal with these fairly, fairly well. Not only do you have so much speed, but you can, in certain sec circumstances, out-energy them because you just have so much engine power. So. What I'm going to do here is either go for the Su-7 here, but I've noticed that the J-35 looks like he's pretty much done with that. Uh, maybe I could help out the guy in uh, engaging with the Su-7, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the pack of Harriers and MiG-21 that's uh, heading straight for the A4E, and hopefully I can dispatch of them before they make short work of the A4E. Unfortunately, it doesn't really happen that way, and um, I end up going straight for the Harrier here. Have a look at just a little bit of compression. I'm having a little bit of trouble following through, but you know what? I have 1200 kilometers per hour airspeed. This is kind of what you'd expect for 1200 kilometers per hour. It's such a huge airspeed that I'm able to get away from the Harrier and uh, put enough distance between me and the Harrier so that uh, the SRAM doesn't even touch me. So I have plenty of power, so much so that, have a look at this Su-7. These things are the fastest thing at 9.0, 9.3. And they just they just can't catch me, just just like running away, waving from the cockpit as I go by. So once I've gotten a little bit of distance, I'm going to nose over. Hopefully, maybe I can help out this F4 in the distance. And of course, there's the J35A from earlier, who is definitely not in a great spot. So uh, maybe I can go and help him first. But it's only a matter of time before he gets swept up by something. And it turns out it might just be a uh, pair of 30 millimeter cannons. 
So, I'm just going to pick the enemy here that is the slowest and work on that, and it's this MiG-21 here. It looks like it is the MiG-21 SPSK or a MiG-21 MF, it's an MF, and, uh, well, 20 mil makes short work of that motherfucker, so, well, there goes kill number five. Now, it is just a matter of trying to get my opponents to follow one of the enemies, sorry, one of the allies, and uh, get some cheeky kills that way. So, see how they're going for the F4. As soon as I notice that they've come off me and gone for the F4, that means that I can strike, and I can roll over and get some speed again and go straight in once more. But uh, the F4C is not really paying attention to the Harrier there and manages to get uh, almost S-rammed. So that leaves me in a situation where I'm starting to wonder if the F4C is paying enough attention to, uh, you know, give me the opportunity to give him a hand. Now this Harrier here, I'm going to go for a quick burp, but it looks like he's traveling at a weird distance, so I can't really get my shots on. And by that time, he's managed to get behind, or in front of, sorry, the SU-7 and the A5, which is pretty much a death spell if you are going for that in, uh, indeed. Now the SU-7 does take him out, and I miss my shots on the A5, so that leaves me in a pretty shit scenario. Scenario, that's my new word. And so uh, I'm here, sort of dogfighting the A5 and the Harrier, not very good at all. Uh, so I'm just going to open up the afterburner, put the uh, speed in, and go for the SU-7 here, who's a little bit slow. Uh, I have to take my afterburner off just in case I can press too much, but I'm not really hitting my shots. Have a look here; it's. It is a little bit of a struggle to hit your shots when you are not uh, amazing at aiming. And so I think as a last hurrah, I'm just going to go head on. And the Harrier takes the A5C out behind me. I guess, I guess miracles do happen, right? So, with that being said, it's now time to hunt down the, uh, the killer. And at the same time, the SU-7 has come in behind me. But have a look at how quickly I am gaining away from the SU-7. I think, I think this is a little bit ridiculous. I think this plane is just a little bit bullshit for its BR. Even the SU-7, which in my opinion, uh, when you look at the performance, is at the wrong battle rating. I think a faster plane like that needs to be a little bit higher in battle rating. And this plane here, which is supposedly at its correct battle rating, is absolutely blowing its socks off. So I think that this plane should really go up 10.0 or 10.3 because it is, after all, just a bomber and it is not uh, really focused on that speed and that performance, but more so that bomb load and its ability to stay uh, stealthy or hidden. Now, as uh, time has gone by, I have agreed with the enemy team that I am just gonna go land and bail, because that's probably the best thing to do. I could carry, I could go on, but I think I would just piss too many people off, uh, and I didn't really feel like putting up a massive fight, just because there's, um, Plenty of enemies that have... I think this enemy team has worked quite hard just to uh, get that win. And of course, the GR1 that I damaged earlier, um, he's crashed and given me the kill, which is really, really lovely. That's six kills. And I have found that this plane is very, very strong. At the moment, I'm, you know, having some first impressions here. This is nothing too much. I haven't played a whole lot, but I've only died four times, and I have a four-to-one kill-death ratio. This plane is... Uh, so far shaping up to be really, really strong. Now, in up tiers, if you can keep yourself away from the furball, if you can pick out your 1v1s, you're going to be a lot better. That's what I've experienced so far. And in down tiers, you are king. You are like literal king. So you can basically just wreck face and have no repercussions. I have also noticed that most of my matches have also been down tiers. 9.7, 10.7 isn't really a thing. So you do have 10.7s, of course, but who plays 10.7s? Not many people. Not too many people. And what 10.7s are there that are hyper competitive with this thing? Not many. And that says a lot about the F-105. I think especially as a bomber, this plane is really, really powerful. And uh, I think this is also a full up tier, if, I don't, uh, if I'm not mistaken. We have, uh, oh no, never mind, it's uh, 9.3 to 10.3, which is a slight up tier, but uh, honestly, this is not the right battle rating, even for this plane. I think if it had 10.0, uh, it would be a lot more, I guess, in a better spot. Uh, have a look at this MiG-17, right? This MiG-17, 9.0, so 9.0 to 10.0. We have uh, a MiG-17 just, just chilling. This thing, even though he wasn't paying attention, he did not stand a chance. Now, speaking of not standing a chance, full committing to a head-on is no way to stand a chance against the uh, F-105. R3Rs or not, you're not going to do anything against this. Now, 
this MiG-21 is probably going to have the highest chance of getting me, and it looks like it's the MiG-21S. Uh, I think he was firing an R3R, which means that he's in uh, a pretty good spot to do some, some raw damage to me, provided that I sit at the right spot. And it looks like there's another missile coming in. Uh, judging by the burn time, it is probably an R3R-S. Uh, and so uh, I just need to put the nose down, pick up speed, and there we are, Mark 1.16, just casually cruising. This is this is like batshit insane. 9.7, this is the same battle rating as the F100. And you might say, well, you know, you can exchange that turning ability in the F100 for the speed in the F105, and you get a roughly equal fight. And I would say absolutely not speed, especially in jets is infinitely more valuable than uh, turning ability. And having, granted, having a balance is really good, uh, but, you know, the, the balance only seems to get disrupted when you get to about F-104 levels of turning. Now, Vortor doesn't really stand a chance. There's nothing you can do. And again, I'm just out here wrecking face. It's really, really not fair for any of the other planes that, uh, you know, especially free-to-play players that uh, grind their, grind their tech trees, spend their time, you know, put hundreds of hours, even the people that use premiums to grind, all this sort of stuff. You can just imagine trying to play, I don't know, your English Electric Lightning and having to deal with this absolute monstrosity. Now, you can kind of deal with it, but you're not faster and you've got poorer guns, you've got uh, a better turning. Yeah, sure, you've got probably better low speed handling, but at the end of the day, this thing is an infinitely more meta vehicle than the uh, English Electric Lightning or the MiG-21F. Um, it's, to me, not even a competition. This thing just blows everything out of the water. And you know what? For now, go and abuse it. Go and have some fun. Go and wreck face. Go and show Gaijin that they have gotten their calculations wildly off course. Because this thing is not a bomber. This thing is pretty much a fighter in the current meta. It's like, it's like D5 Stuka. Uh, before it was nerfed into the ground. It's just one of those planes that is so outlandishly powerful that you can use it as a meme and still get away with murder. So, honestly, sleeper of the patch. This, this plane looks very, very unassuming, seems very, very unassuming, but my god, has it not surprised the shit out of me. Now, speaking of surprising the shit, that MiG-21 is a MiG-21S. Now, I got a little bit too uh, ambitious there with that missile, but that's okay, I've just popped out the air brake, which is uh, kind of funny actually, it's on the jet nozzle at the uh, rear of the plane. I quite like that design, I've, I've never seen it ever before, and to me it's quite interesting. But uh, the F1, F100 F uh, decides that he's going to pick up that kill instead, which is perfectly fine. And uh, then I just put my air brake away, get some more speed, and we will have it in absolutely no time. MiG-19 here is going to be our next uh, victim, and... My god, we are catching up to him pretty damn quick. This, like I said, 9.7, Mach 1.1 on the deck, and uh, not many other 9.7s can do Mach 1, let alone, let alone Mach 1.1 on the deck. So, yeah, there's a lot of performance here that this plane has, and other planes at its BR just simply wish they could have. They, they're, just, they're just crying and, uh, and, and just being sad because they just wish they could have that level of performance. Now... This GAC-38 thought he would play uh, a little gamer move here. He's gotten his two kills with his uh, R60s, but he won't get much further any longer simply because I am uh, outturning him. And that might just be because he's compressed. Uh, it might also be because it's a GAC-38 and it's a fucking turd. But, uh, you know, I also have a 20mm Vulcan cannon. So, Brut it goes, and SU-7 is the next target here. No time to even, like, gloat on the kill. We're just going to go straight into the next kill. So... We've got the SU-7, and he's rapidly, rapidly losing uh, his advantage of distance to us. So at about the 25 kilometer mark, we could probably consider an AIM-9E, uh, maybe at a uh, slightly shorter distance, simply because everyone's traveling so damn fast. These are the two fastest planes in the, uh, in the tier, from what I can tell. And uh, the English Electric Lightning isn't too much further behind. It's uh, like 1270 or something like that. This thing easily tops out 1300 plus. So uh, you have such a gap here that not even... So there, there are some top tier aircraft, some 10, 11.3s uh, that uh, are slower than this plane. I'm, I'm sure there are out there. I think it's maybe a, an F4 that's very, very heavy. 
But um, regardless, I have 250 rounds of ammunition left, and he's just going to play right into my guns. That could be kill number six right there, but I'm going to leave it, and I'm going to go for the Vultor instead, because I know he's so damaged that someone will finish him off, or alternatively, I will uh, end up getting the kill because he'll crash on landing, or he will no longer be a threat to the enemy team. There we go, there's the assist. And so I'm just going to burst up to this Narval. Just, oh, sorry, this Narval, this Vultor. Just because I can. It's 2B, not very threatening. So I'm just going to take my time here. It looks like he's flying in a straight line. And I'm just going to go for a quick little burst and uh, pilot snipe, and that's it. I, I'm i absolutely blown away the, by the performance of this thing. It is just, just insane. Seriously, it's, um, wow. A little too OP. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure, actually. I, I do enjoy playing this thing, and I think I will be playing it a lot more. Um, but, my god, you feel a little bit bad for the enemies, especially when you face 8.7s. Think about, like, MiG-15s, J-29s, uh, you know, Sabres, some of the later Sabres. You've got so many enemies here that just don't stand a chance. And, like, they didn't stand a chance, in my opinion, they don't stand a chance against things like the English Electric Lightning. Uh, they don't stand a chance against things like the SU-7 when played correctly. Uh, they don't stand a chance against things like the MiG-19 when played correctly. And yet, here we are with all of them just absolutely shitting on these uh, poor little 9.0s. Speaking of shitting on, the uh, SU-7 BMK shit the bed and decided to crash into the ground, giving us the win. And you know what? I'm going to take that as kill number 7. So this plane is absolutely batshit insane so far. Uh, maybe I'll give you an updated video on this, but first impressions are... Highly, highly recommend this. Absolutely check it out. Absolutely abuse the shit out of it. Get that battle rating to 10.0, 10.3. Or alternatively, airspawn away. But anyway, ladies and gents, thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll catch you next time.